Okay, by now you know how to find a missing side using sine, cosine, and tangent, but how can we find a missing angle, okay? Well, that's, you're going to use the inverse sine or inverse cosine or inverse tangent. I'm going to show you how to do it on the calculator, but you'll see it like this. Okay, don't embarrass yourself and say sine to the negative one. Just say inverse sine, inverse cosine, inverse tangent. Okay, well, let's find maybe what angle C is, okay? The measure of angle C, now you gotta figure out, see, we don't know what this length is, so we do know these two lengths. So what trig function has the opposite and hypotenuse? Well, if you remember, some old horse came a-hopping through our alley. So, this is the opposite, and this is hypotenuse, so that is sine, okay? So the Actually, sorry about that. If we take the sine of the angle, if we take the sine of angle C, that is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, some old horse. So now what do we do? Well, C is equal to, angle C is equal to the inverse sine of 14 over 21. So what did I do? All I did is, I got rid of the sine, brought it over here, made it inverse sine, and that's going to find us the angle. So, on the calculator, uh, we got to turn it on, get a pulse. Is it breathing? Yep. Okay. So, do you see how inverse sine is in blue? So, you got to hit inverse sine, parentheses. Oh, by the way, 14 fancy button. That's the fraction button, in case you didn't know that at home. Over 21. Let's just close the parentheses. It's about 41.8 degrees. So the measure of angle C is about 41.8 degrees. Don't forget to put degrees. You don't want me to have to nickel and dime your test by taking off little points here and there. What's going on over here? What is this thing? That is theta, okay? You'll get to know theta. It's a Greek alphabet. Anyhow. Theta, we're going to find theta. Well, what trig function? This is the opposite, and this is the adjacent, okay? So that sounds like opposite. That is tangent. So if we take the tangent of theta, that is equal to our alley, through our alley, 4 over 7. So theta is going to be equal to what? You guessed it, the inverse tangent of 4 over 7. Show you it on the calculator one more time. Let's clear this bad boy. Okay, inverse tangent. So it's right here above the tangent in blue. So second, inverse tangent, four, fancy button seven. I'm gonna close the parenthesis and we get about 29.7 degrees. So theta is about, what did I say? 29.7 degrees. That, my friends, is how you use the inverse sine, inverse cosine, inverse tangent button to find an angle.